Knee-deep in vegetable gardens sprouting up across Caracas, Venezuelans are getting their hands dirty for their country. It's part of President Nicolas Maduro's great agro-Venezuelan mission to promote city farming to offset widespread food shortages. Eighty-three percent of the inhabitants of Venezuela live in cities, and only 17 percent live in the countryside. That means we must build an urban productive culture, necessarily new, absolutely new, that is, urban agriculture. The push for produce comes amid unprecedented hardships, as Venezuelans line up daily at supermarkets across the country, though oftentimes they leave with nothing. Government policy and rock-bottom oil prices have left the economy in tatters. For Luis Sanagalvis, urban farming is the answer. If we sow and cultivate in our own homes, nobody can come to take that away from us, and nobody is going to sell it to us, and so we reduce the cost of living. But despite the enthusiasm, in three months only 273 tons of food have been produced far short of the annual goal of 3,500 tons. Casa Bistro restaurant owner Omar Sharam, who already grows his own food, isn't convinced by Maduro's plan. It's illogical to have a grand plan for urban agriculture, given how fertile the land is in Venezuela. If I have to give an answer, no, I think they will fail. But for Maduro, failure might not be an option, in a country hungry for change. Caracas, Venezuela. Some Venezuelan city dwellers are trying to grow their own produce to offset the country's severe shortages following socialist president Nicolas Maduro's calls for food sovereignty. But in a country where families are going hungry as a result of government mismanagement and sky-high inflation, many view the great agro-Venezuela mission with skepticism. Agriculture shouldn't be a solution to the country's shortages, said former landowner Irema Pacheco de Leandro, 54, a well-to-do government opponent who lives in Caracas. Critics have taken to social media to accuse the government of downplaying the country's critical situation and ridicule Maduro for trying to solve Venezuela's dire food crisis through getting urbanites to farm small plots of land. Venezuela stops post journalist, other correspondents from entering country. Urban farming in Venezuela. Thanks to at Nicolas Maduro read one tweet accompanied by a photograph of a man and a dog sifting through trash, a common sight in Caracas as food supplies dwindle and black market prices soar. View image on Twitter View image on Twitter Follow Michael Welling at Welling Michael Pound Sign Thesis Venezuela Urban Farming in Pound Sign Venezuela Thanks to at Nicolas Maduro Image Fiat Ovario 9.43 p.m. The 15th of July 2016 12 12 retweets 5 5 likes BBC Venezuela report as Cavistas explaining how they're going to feed people Grow medicine Through urban farming No Really, mocked another Twitter user. When the project was presented in February, the newly created Ministry of Urban Agriculture announced that 12,000 square kilometers, about 4,600 square miles, would be planted in the first 100 days. The government promised to invest $300,000 in seeds, equipment and educational projects, and to help with logistics. Amid economic hard times, Venezuelans turn to city farming play video 1, 53 facing a national food crisis, Venezuela's pumpkin growing socialist president is exhorting compatriots to grow fruit and vegetables on balconies and roofs and in barracks across the country. Reuters The government urged citizens to plant in every available space, private terraces, communal areas, jails and schools, among other sites, but did not itself provide the land. Eight months into the project, only 21 square kilometers, about 8 square miles, of land have been cultivated, according to the ministry. How are you going to tell someone with no space for a plot to grow their own food? Asked the Leandro, whose family-owned farm was expropriated, like many other businesses, 
Under former President Hugo Chavez's nationalization program, some Venezuelans try to look on the bright side of the experiment. Producing their own food can reduce the time spent on the streets of Caracas, where crime is skyrocketing. For De Leandro, who was once kidnapped for ransom, this is a comforting thought. She grows a stunning array of vegetables on one of her terraces. But not all Caracuanians have enough land to I cultivate mean, produce, want. and water is also in short supply due to a drought. Barbara D. Ambruoso, 24, whose vegetable plot overlooks the sprawling city, has learned to carefully measure her water usage. They cut our water supply from Saturday afternoon until Wednesday, she said, alluding to government measures in response to the nationwide shortage. Below D. Ambruoso's hilltop home, one can see cramped apartments, part of Chavez's housing mission, introduced by the late president to provide rent-free accommodation to the poorest families. Hardly an ideal setting for a lush little plot of land. But limited land is not a restriction, says the Ministry of Urban Agriculture, suggesting that citizens can produce 20 kilos, nearly 45 pounds, of fruits and vegetables with just one meter of land. In a slum in West Caracas, 69-year-old Chavez supporter Luis Sanigalvez and 17 other people cultivate vegetables on shared land. We're doing this to combat the economic warfare so that they can't have us on our knees again, said Galvez, echoing the government's argument that the deep recession is the fault of opposition business leaders and the United States. Economists attribute the shortages to other factors, such as price controls and overregulation. In the past, sales of oil, Venezuela's top export, brought in plenty of dollars that could be used to buy produce abroad. But the price of oil has dropped sharply in the past two years. The decline in Venezuela's agricultural output has been accelerated by government expropriations of land under its socialist leaders. Much of the country's fertile agricultural land is underused, experts say. Read more. In a hungry Venezuela, buying too much food can get you arrested. Venezuela's politics are a mess. And now there's a birther movement. Venezuelans are storming supermarkets and attacking trucks as food supplies dwindle.